What's up guys? It's Alex and Kip. We're in the backyard today and I have a very exciting announcement because the time has come for a big lapidary surprise. I know this has been kind of in the works for a little while, but I'm excited to finally show you one of our new lapidary saws. So without any further ado, let's take a quick peek at it. So here she is. This is the high tech diamond 10 inch slab saw. So um, as you guys know, high tech diamond is a sponsor of my channel. I have a great slant caber from them and I was eyeing this piece of equipment for some time. So um, they were really gracious in working with me and getting me this piece of equipment. Um, it's a such a huge upgrade from our old saw, which I actually got out over here, there's Kip. This is our old saw. It's a skill saw, tile saw. You can see the amount of clearance here. You know, it's just like an inch compared to what we have over here. Um, so this thing's pretty awesome. It has a pretty um, simple on off switch. Um, you can pull this up here to reveal the um, sort of water reservoir that helps to cool the blade. Um, it's a really simple design. There's an arbor, here's your motor, um, and you have a nice little um, kind of splash guard here to keep you from getting too wet. And yeah, it's just amazing. I've already played around with it a little, if you couldn't tell, um, but I'm really, really excited to actually cut some rocks for you guys on the channel this morning. So um, I actually, I was looking through the rock garden over there by Kip and I found a few specimens that I would never be able to cut on the smaller saw. So these have been sitting in my collection for quite some time. Check that baby out. <laughs> um, this one's kind of got a nice little quartzy pocket in there. And then this is another one that just figured, hey, why not? So, so four rocks, four agates to cut on this saw. I've already got the blade, or so I've already got the reservoir filled up, ready to rock and roll. And we're gonna, we're gonna cut some rocks and I'm basically gonna give you kind of my first impressions and thoughts on this saw. And you're gonna be seeing it a lot on this channel. Um, in addition to some other goodies that are coming. So um, if you're in the market for a lapidary saw, um, I am going to have all the information to High Tech Diamond down in the link of this video. Um, they're a great company. I've had nothing but good experiences working with them, and the people that work there are awesome. Um, and actually, it's a great way to support the channel. If you're looking into getting a saw like this for yourself, um, there's actually my affiliate link down there, which again, I'll, I'll put in the description. And if you purchase using my affiliate link, some of the proceeds from that purchase actually come to support the channel. So that's an awesome way to support Kip and I um, to bring more rock counting content to you. So without any further ado, let's get this saw going. All right, so it took about four minutes to cut that agate. Um, obviously it takes a, t a little bit of time to cut material that's that hard, but you could just see how smooth the blade was. Um, not messy. You can see I'm not covered at all with water or stuff. Um, so a huge upgrade. Um, let's take a look at the cut though. So really nice Montana moss agate. A little fractured, but check out some of the moss in there. That is just stunning. Holy cannoli. Here's the other side. You can actually see there's some pretty nice banding in there too. Wow. 
That is just beautiful. Okay, so we still got three more cuts to make. I'm gonna kind of zoom through those real quick here, but you can see the saw is just so much easier to use and we can cut big rocks. Um, of course, make sure you always wear your safety equipment um, when you're using machines like this, but let's, let's make a couple more cuts. Wow, that was really fun. Um, so before I show you these agates, and I took a couple little peeks, I think there's some pretty epic ones. A couple thoughts on the saw. Um, wow, what an upgrade, first of all. I mean, um, it, it cuts so smoothly. Um, the things I really notice are that, first of all, I'm able to cut way bigger rocks, which is huge for me. Um, because some of these rocks that we cut today have been sitting waiting for this moment for so long. So it's so awesome. Um, second, I don't get messy. I mean, I got a little wet because um, I was kind of screwing around with the lid. But besides that, I was not getting wet at all. So it's a very mess-free saw, which is not something that was happening with the old tile saw. I was always getting wet. Um, I had to like wash my hair afterwards. It was crazy. Um, and it makes really nice cuts. And so I guess without any further ado, let's take a look at some of these cuts. Okay, so I put them all right down here. Um, I brought a little water bottle. Oops, let's save the best for last. So we already took a look at this one again. So um, we'll go ahead and set those up there, but obviously beautiful, beautiful specimens there. Super nice. There. So anyways, some nice little fractured moss agate. Um, let's take a look at this one. So this was the um, quartz pocket one. And look at the color of that quartz in there, first of all. That is just amazing. And you can see there's some really beautiful banding as well, kind of surrounding the quartz pocket. Um, that is just stunning. Here's the other side of it. Um, I'm not, I am noticing a little bit of, um, I guess like some grooves in there from the saw, which of course you'd expect. This is a sintered blade and um, obviously that would all polish off pretty easily. Um, but you can look at the cut here. Um, it's so smooth, such a smooth cut compared to what I would get with the tile saw where I'd have these little not little, sometimes large grooves in there. Um, so that's a huge, huge upgrade. Okay, so we'll put those up there. Let's take a look at this one. So this is that other larger agate. Um, and I, I, you can definitely tell there's some banding in there. This is kind of a common trend with pretty much all the Yellowstone agates that I cut open is that there's, there's always some banding. Um, it's just a matter of how obvious it is. And this one has some pretty nice banding. Again, a little fracture, a little bit of moss in there. But geez, that's beautiful. Again, I think, I think I'm seeing less of that kind of grooves the more we cut. And then I saved the best for last, this one. So um, <laughs> this was one that I found with Theo Kellison and Katie did, gosh, over a year ago, I wanna say. But um, you could tell, just looking at it, there's some funkiness going on in there. But I think in order to really appreciate it, let's take a look. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you believe that? Look at that thing, that is just insane. Look at the bands and the little quartz pocket there. You can see all the way through the other side. 
wow, that is just, honestly, I'm kind of at a loss for words. That is just stunning. Here's the other side. Amazing. This one will have to get polished. Again, you can see there's a little bit of that kind of um, gray sort of streaking from the saw blade on there, but honestly, like again, I'm not worried. It's such a clean cut, um, very straight. This is gonna be a joy to polish, and I think I may have to show you guys that process on the video. So um, anyways, it was an absolute success with this saw. Um, obviously, I still kind of want to play around with it, get to know it a little bit better, figure out what the best way to cut. It seems like most of those rocks, which are all comparably sized, took at least three to five minutes to cut, which you would expect. I mean, if you had a nice slab saw that was running it through automatically, that might even take 20 minutes. So um, it works well. I didn't really encounter any problems with the saw at all. Um, I would highly, at least my first impression is that I would highly recommend this to anybody that's looking to kind of upgrade their lapidary setup, looking to get into cutting some bigger rocks. Um, and you know, the truth is, yes, it's expensive, um, but it's nowhere near as expensive as some of the alternatives out there. Um, and if you wanna see what's inside of those beautiful rocks, this is a good way to do it. So, um, Again, if you're interested, don't forget to check out the links down in the description if you're interested in purchasing from High Tech Diamond. And again, I recommend a number of their products. Um, make sure you do so through my affiliate link. And there are going to be a lot more videos coming where we cut things open. So look forward to that in the future. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.